if you wonder if I hate you. It's how Skyla Selner started out the year, a positive test and typical symptoms. Sore throat, running nose, stuffy nose, congested, coughing. The cough was probably the worst part. Lots of blankets. So Skyla is really isolating at home, managing best as she knows how. So I have on this table my Buckley's, which helps tremendously tea for my sore throat and of course lots of water to keep me hydrated and to get rid of that virus. She still feels miserable and wants to know what else she can do. Would cold medications, over-the-counter drugs help with the symptoms at all? Something like this, for example, an intranasal cortisone can be very useful for decreasing nasal congestion. This pharmacist recommends common cold and flu medication including ibuprofen and acetaminophen, which he says can be alternated every four hours to bring down fever. Some doctors prescribe puffers for people with a history of breathing problems. None of these medications actually resolve the COVID infection, but they have strong evidence for relieving symptoms. Once symptoms clear, he says wait 30 days for a booster. There's no rush. Because your antibodies should be pretty high and they should provide you with, with ample protection. Hospitals are worried about being overwhelmed by mild COVID patients who may infect others. For the vast majority of people, you can manage this at home. It's unpleasant and it's uncomfortable and certainly we appreciate that. But she stresses if your breathing gets bad, don't hesitate to seek care. Really, the thing that should drive you to the emergency department with your COVID positive diagnosis is severe chest pain and severe shortness of breath. To monitor blood and oxygen levels, some hospitals are sending high-risk patients home with pulse oximeters, which you can also buy. Though people with darker skin tones may not always get an accurate result, many emergency departments are also moving to virtual visits to keep an eye on patients while keeping them isolating at home. Vicodopia, CBC News, Toronto.